Denise from Salvaged Inspirations. Thanks for joining me today. I just wanted to make a really, really short, quick video on how to dry brush with chalk mineral paint. Um, I actually found uh, two curb shopped um, tables. They are like coffee tables and I'm amalgamating them together to hopefully make one spectacular one. Um, but I started off by using Dixie Bell's Gravel Road for the base. And then my second color is going to be uh, Dixie Bell's Driftwood. You can see that. Which is a really, really gorgeous modern gray. And all I'm going to be doing is dry brushing this. I'm going to show you the piece. Okay, so that's the table here. And I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to dry brush. And really, on pieces that have this much detail, in my opinion, it really does the work for you. You don't really have to do too much because all this carved, gorgeous detail does the work really for you. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've poured some of the driftwood onto a plate. This is dry brushing, so you don't want to load your brush fully. I don't know if you can see this. You just want to put enough on the tips um, and then just kind of wipe off the rest so you don't have a fully, fully loaded brush. And then all you do is run your brush over top all this carved detail. Look how gorgeous that is. Really stunning. I hope you can see that. Again, I want a lot of the darker gray coming through, and I just want the lighter gray to kind of highlight all this carved detail. Again, I'm just gonna brush it lightly. I don't have a whole lot of paint on my brush. This is a dry brush technique. So I don't have a whole lot. My paintbrush is not fully loaded. I don't know if you can see that. You can't see the bottom. So let me move on to the next part. Okay, let me turn it around so you can see this part being done. Okay, just let me again, once again, I'm going to load my brush very sparsely and then kind of just wipe off the excess on the side of the plate so it's not dripping wet. Again, you can use any type of brush for this. It doesn't have to be a round. I like the, the Dixie Bell round for this or any sort of round, but I mean, you can use a flat brush for this also. And again, I'm just lightly touching it to highlight all this gorgeous detail. This honestly couldn't be a simpler technique. Really, guys, it's so easy. If you end up with a piece with detail like this really I love working with pieces like this okay go around to this side this one here I won't go do the bottom of the legs because I know you can't see this in video okay let's do this part and I'm loading my brush off camera, but just so you can see how fast this actually works. You don't have to be overly perfectionistic about this. You don't want it to look too perfect. You just want to hit those highlights and leave some of that gray showing through. There's enough on the brush that I can do this side. don't have to be perfectionistic about it. I'm going to load up my brush a little more and let's hit the detail on this side. Turn it around and do this leg. 
And I'm going to go down and, and finish off the bottom of the legs because I know without adjusting the camera, you can't see that part. But again, I just wanted to make a super quick video to show you how fast this really, this really is. I mean, we've completed the whole round part of the table within really a matter of like three minutes. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, feel free to visit me at salvagedinspirations.com. I would love to see you there. And thanks for joining me today. Have a great day, guys.